Good morning. I'm just here drinking my tea this morning. It's a very cold, wet, damp day here today. We had a lot of rain last night overnight, and it's cleared off a little bit now, but we're supposed to get a little bit more rain again this evening. It might be spring on the calendar, but it's definitely not spring uh, here yet. This is what I call the in-between weather. We still have a lot of snow on the outside roads, not so much snow down around here around the cabin. But it makes it a little bit difficult for us because we still can't get in our truck. Now we can't get in here on our skidoo. So we're kind of between halfway between skidoo and halfway between quad. But this time of the year usually gives me a chance to get a head start on some of my projects that I have to do. And the one that I have to do today is my chicken coop behind me. So I gotta take them to tarps that's on it. That's my uh, winter covering to keep them uh, the frost from them in the winter time. And then once I get that done, I'm going to completely tear down the whole roof that's there. And I'm putting on a brand new roof. I'm going to change it completely. And hopefully it makes things a little bit easier on me and keeps chickens a little warmer in the wintertime. So i got to go get at her. all the truss and the roof off and uh, I'm so glad that I uh, used screws when I built it seven or eight years ago made life so much easier today and now I'm going in to have some lunch and I'll come back out and uh, we'll get started on uh, putting it back together Well, I got this much done today. Just rising the front of the coop because I'm going to put the stringers back the other way instead of having a peak roof. So I think I'm going to call the day. I think it's 8.30 or so. And uh, I'll start again in the morning. So the first thing I'm doing this morning, even though it's uh, pouring rain here, 
I, uh, my coop is a little bit old. It's probably eight or nine years old. So I got a little bit of a bow in the, in the center of the walls. So I'm just putting a bit of pressure on it with some uh, tie straps. And that way I can put my uh, truss down and everything will be even and, and I won't have no worries with it. So hopefully this works. So we got all the stringers done. It's not a very nice day. It's pretty wet and mucky, but I'm getting the job done slowly. So now I'm going to take them all and we'll drag them all over here and uh, get them put on. I got one up and I got 11 more to go. I think it's gonna work out okay. Got the stringers all on now. I had to take down my door and uh, cut off a little bit because it's a little lower than the way the other roof was, but it's all done. Next project is to uh, board this all over, get some shingles on it. Day three here on the coop. Uh, got rained out yesterday and uh, today is a much nicer day so I'm hoping to get the boards over the roof and maybe the shingles on see how far we get
Well, I'm getting there. I just got this little bit left to do. I ran out of board, so I gotta go look for some up underneath the cabin to see if I got any old boards lying around. Right now, it's time for lunch. That pot down there is starting to smell pretty good up here. Homemade moose stew and dip my homemade bread in that juice. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Oh, that's good. I'm just here eating my lunch. I'm just getting ready to put my kettle on for a cup of tea. And I wanted to show you guys my kettle before I put it on. It's a new one I had, uh, came last week. And I've been looking for a kettle for a long time. Something that was very compact and light for me for putting in my pack sack or throwing in my kayak for going up the river and stuff. And lots of times when you're traveling, you can't take anything that's big and bulky or heavy because you don't have the room. So I had this little kettle come from Mountain Warehouse. They sell a lot of outdoor equipment and camping gear and uh, they have some awesome quality stuff. And this is a little kettle I had uh, that came from them. It carries about two cups of tea. It's extremely light. There's like nothing to it. It's very small and compact. You got a little handle on it. And your topper comes off like this. And uh, I think it's a perfect little rig for me. And I'm sure it'll get lots of use. So I'm going to put this one on now and have a cup of tea. The shingles are done. project turned into a four day project uh, because I got rained out a couple days. I also ran out of lumber one day and I had to go to town to get some. 
But for the majority of it, it is done. I do have a little bit of painting to do and a little bit of wire to put up, but it is complete. The major part of it is anyways. So I'm on to my next project. And my next project I'm super excited about. I cannot wait. It's gonna be right here alongside the chicken coop. You guys will have to uh, wait till the next episode to see exactly what it is. But until then, I hope you guys take care, stay safe, and tune in next time for Adventures Off Grid.